I should say at this point, all of these uh, all, all of these stages are built into my 12 week online program, which you can click in the link below, um, how to build core strength and stability. It follows this process of essentially starting simple with just getting up into the, into the position and then building you through the endurance and what we're gonna talk about now, the stability phases um, in the first 12 weeks. So when we're talking about stability, what we've got is the ability to hold posture. So again, it's that same idea of being able to hold the posture, but now with some degree of instability built into it. Now, again, the this is just one sort of set of exercises that could be chosen. There are more, they can be made easier, they can be made harder. Again, all we're trying to do is understand the process of going through the strength phase, the endurance phase, and then up into the stability phase. So we're not talking about exercises, we're talking about core exercise. So this is just the exercise category um, that we're talking about. So we've got three exercises and we're down on one knee for all of them. Now all of them progress with different levels of instability. So we've just got this half kneeling position here. So I'm down on one knee. Now all I'm trying to do is maintain balance. And the reason I'm on one knee is because in some respects it takes the foot and the ankle almost out of the equation. So what we're now talking about is hip stability and spine stability. So what we do is just get into the half kneeling position. And what we would do is, if you now look at me from the, let's just say, front, what I might do to start with is the front leg comes out and it's down here, but when the back leg comes down, again, it's sort of, there's a there's a distance between them. So I'm, I've, got, I've got a slightly wide foot position. What I would then do is I would then come much narrower. So I would have, say, my foot and then my body, but then I would be much more on a tightrope, if that makes sense. And then I could come all the way across until my foot is directly in front of my knee to get that more, to get more instability. What we would then move on to is something, so this is a weight, just a light weight in my hands here. And all I'm doing is I'm trying to shift my central gravity. And all that's doing, that's then starting to create more instability, so it's making my hips and my spine work that much harder because I'm taking the weight from this position down here and moving it up into that position here. So I'm starting to become a little bit more dynamic. So I'm not fully static now because in so far in strength, endurance and that first exercise in stability, I've been very static. What I'm now starting to do is build some dynamic um, parts to the, to, the, to the exercises. So I'm going from there. And then finally, I'm doing a similar thing, but I'm now taking the weight sort of from the front of my body and going around the head, back to the start position, back round the other way. And then again, I'm still on one knee, and what I can do with both of these exercises, which is exactly what I did with this first exercise, is bring my foot further across, bring my foot further across to increase the instability. 